A short note on Yak, the Yak. Do you know what Yak is? Hello beautiful people, welcome to Rag Sedis Vlog. Your home of quality spicy videos. For more details on this post, visit my site. You will find the link in description below. A sizable mammal that resembles an ox, the Yak is indigenous to Tibet and other high altitude areas of Asia. They are now widespread in Central Asia, Nepal, Mongolia, and China. Yaks are linked to cattle because they are part of the genus Bos, Bos primigenius. Yak evolution has been studied using mitochondrial DNA, but the results have been unclear. There is some evidence to suggest that the yak may be more closely related to bison than to the other members of its recognized genus and that it may have separated from cattle at any point between 1 and 5 million years ago. The yak can reach a shoulder height of 7.2 feet. Cows, females, are typically roughly half as heavy as bulls, which can weigh up to 1,800 pounds. Depending on the population, they typically have varied coat lengths and are black, brown, white, or gray in color. Yaks have broad shoulders and drooping heads in front of them. Male yaks can grow horns that are up to 30 inches long. Although they are still able to readily interbreed, domesticated yaks, boss grunions, and wild yaks, boss mutus, are typically regarded as separate species. In comparison to wild yaks, they also typically exhibit more diversity in coat color. Due to the preservation of fetal hemoglobin throughout life, yak physiology is well suited to high altitudes, with larger lungs and hearts than cattle found at lower elevations as well as a greater capacity for carrying oxygen through their blood. Yaks, on the other hand, struggle to survive at lowland areas and are exposed to heat exhaustion above about 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. The rumen of yaks is exceptionally large in relation to the Amasan when compared to domestic cattle. This probably enables them to eat more inferior food at once and to ferment it for a longer period of time to extract more nutrients. Depending on the area where they live, yaks mate in the summer, usually between July and September. For the majority of the year, males stay away from the great herds in tiny bachelor groups, but when the rut draws near, they grow aggressive and frequently engage in combat to gain control. The gestation period lasts between 257 and 270 days, resulting in the delivery of a single calf between the months of May and June. The cow chooses a quiet area to give birth, but the calf can walk after about 10 minutes, and the duo quickly reunite with the herd. Both domestic and wild females of both species normally give birth only once every two years, though more frequent deliveries may be conceivable if there is a plentiful supply of food. At one year, calves are weaned, and soon after that, they become independent. Wild calves have brownish hair at first, and only later do they get the darker adult hair. The average female gives birth for the first time between the ages of 3 and 4, and she reaches her reproductive fitness peak around the age of 6. Yaks have been kept as domesticated animals for thousands of years, mostly for their milk, fiber, and meat as well as for use as beasts of burden. Importance of Yak 1. Festival of Blood Drinking There is an annual celebration in Nepal where people drink yak fresh blood in the hopes that it can treat various illnesses like gastritis, jaundice, and body sprains. A yak's neck is used to get fresh blood without actually killing the animal. After the ritual is finished, the wound has healed. The rite is thought to have its roots in Tibet. 2. Yak Games Yak racing is a popular form of entertainment at traditional festivals and is regarded as a significant aspect of culture in some regions of Tibet and Karakorum. Yak-related activities, like yak skiing and yak polo, are currently being marketed as tourist attractions in Pakistan and other South Asian nations. 3. Making use of yak resources Yaks give milk, meat, leather, for rugs, hair, for ropes and garments, and dung, among other things, for fuel. While most of the milk is used to make butter and cheese, some is also used to make delicious milky tea. 4. The Himalayas Biofuel A harsh and sparsely populated environment can be found on the Tibetan Plateau. As a result, the yak has become indispensable in many ways, including providing warmth. Yak's dry dung, the only fuel available on the Tibetan Plateau, 
is of great value in addition to being used for insulating clothing. In fact, having access to yak dung as fuel may have been a deciding factor in the final colonization of this harsh region. 5. Transport Recent historical data suggests that they were probably initially domesticated to help transport supplies for human caravans along early Himalayan trade routes after their integration into human settlements due to the necessity for their Six dot breeding. The family will profit from the breeding of this animal, just like they would with any other livestock animal. In addition to being bred for the production of the aforementioned goods, a family can make money by trading or selling any spare animals, thus affecting the financial security of the family. This brings the video to an end. Follow me on this channel for more relevant videos. Thanks for your time and see you later.